Ms. Vaughn, you are here to prove to your husband, Mr. Williams, that he is the father of your one-year-old child, Connor Williams. You say the only reason the two of you got married was because of the pregnancy, and now that you filed for divorce, he refuses to be a father. Now, you're also suing the defendant for $1,275 for daycare expenses. Is that correct? Yes, Judge. All right, Mr. Williams, you say you got married under false pretenses and claim Ms. Vaughn only used you for your money. You also believe Ms. Vaughn has a secret sugar daddy and had that man throughout your entire relationship and he's the real father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Vaughn, tell me, what has Mr. Williams done for Connor? Brian hasn't did anything for him. The only thing he has done was buy two cases of diapers and furnish two outfits when he was a newborn. And the child is mm -hmm. one years old? Yes, and he watched him while I was at work for a couple of times, but it's not, <sighs> it's not enough of a month full of Your Sundays. Honor, that is not true. I've done much more it than that. It is true. I, you cannot... One, you can't put a price on how much a man can support his child. Yes, you I, can. No, you Quite cannot. Every day. Mr. Williams, you say you have supported this child. Yes, of course. He's one, but you're also saying now... I've supported him, but he's not mine. Yes, I did, because it, it was right. based on a love and a, a belief that I was being married to Miss Vaughn. So, Miss Vaughn, were you in a relationship, a committed relationship we when you got dating. pregnant? Yes. You were just dating. A committed relationship. You were. You were boyfriend yes. and girlfriend. Yes. You get pregnant. Yes. But you yes, also say, Mr. Williams, the only reason you married her is because you thought this baby was yours. Yes, Your Honor. But now you have doubt. Yes, she's presented with a lot of doubt. Sense. Brian was defending her honor after people on campus let him know that that was not his baby. Well, Brian you know, knows that he's Connor's father. I didn't know her. So who I didn't need her. Who are these people after on? Hold was... on, hold on, one at a time. You say you had people telling you she was promiscuous and she was having sex with other people and the yes, child may because, not be yours? Because I did disclaim that at one point she was putting me in the doghouse, so it gave me a lot of free time to not be with her. And by the doghouse, I Brian's mean we lying, were not being Honor. intimate. We were not always together Brian's days, lying. for days at a time. Did you have doubt, Mr. Williams, when you married her? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, I had my doubts. No, you did. You, but in, your, in the court papers, been... you said you were pressured to marry her. Yes, Your Honor. At you first, my... my thought was it was just two young people mm -hmm. uh, making a decision about what they were going to do based on the pregnancy. And so I requested to meet her mother because I couldn't believe that a parent would be in support. Well, you just find out since Tori was pregnant because your son's So did it. his father and I requested to meet her. We actually went to her house. And after having the discussion with her and she shared with us, then the next step was for them to get married because her grandchild, her grandchild, she never said their child, her grandchild was not coming into this world a bastard. So at that point, we realized that she was the one driving the bus on this relationship. And along the way, I've tried to realize who's been pregnant, who got pregnant by Brian? The daughter or the mother, because she's been running the whole time. Did you pressure Mr. Williams, your daughter, to get married? I raised my children. If he's good enough to lay with, you need to get married. No premarital sex. I raised my children in the church. And that's the way that the church has taught us. I married my children's father. I married, and I expect my children to marry whoever gets them pregnant or not to have sex until they get married. And so you're, you're saying, yes, these are my beliefs. I believe these if you are my get beliefs, pregnant... And I'm gonna put it out there. And so, the bottom down. line is, you're admitting, yes, I'm sorry, I you did couldn't marry them. yours because you have... You kicked your you son have... out the house yes. and you don't support him, so I don't understand why you're pretending like you support him. Why. It takes Hush. people to have sex. Exactly. You should have taught him not to have sex until it. he was married, but I'm sorry, you was never Ms. married. Miss Boy! <laughs> Miss Boy, stop. Don't. Well, I, I, why I, are I you telling her <laughs> she should have taught her son to Thank not have sex? Thank you. When you, your daughter's having sex Thank with him. You. Exactly. Thank She's you. not the only one that popped here. And he's not the only one that popped It is clear that both of them... Whoa. Correct. ...were engaging in activities they were not prepared to see through. When they well, were faced I, with the I consequence. I stepped up to the plate and took care of my responsibility, so I wasn't prepared then, but I'm prepared to. now. Well, look, at, at, look, you're supposed, supposed, supposed to do the same, supposed same supposed thing, and he's not doing it. That's you know your son's to. not doing it. Okay, you can up there and act like One at a time, one at a time. Let's get some order. We getting through this thing. Because ultimately, I see you all want to go back and forth and just jab one another with insults. At the end of the day, we're trying to do this for Connor. There is a question as it relates to his paternity. Yeah. And it's affecting his life yeah. because he's 
one, yeah. and the man that you say is his biological father is saying, I don't believe I am. Yeah. And you know what? At one, a baby recognizes their father. Yes. Yes. They call for their father. This, yes. Usually the first thing they... One of the first things they say. Yes. Does he say dada? Yes. Does he mean Mr. Williams when he's saying it? Is that who he's talking about? He doesn't know his father. Mm. So how does he even know the word? Because Brian uh, acted like he was the father up to a couple of months ago. Mm. Okay, well, uh, so you're saying he was like present he, uh, and then a uh, couple uh, months ago just started backing off. Yes. I mean, don't get it wrong. Even when he was there, he still wasn't furnishing uh, any revenue. It was just him sitting there. Playing not his watch, PS4. Not watching. And his mother can attest that he just sits there and plays on the electronics while he's watching Connor. But she so it's not like he was, he was there, his shell was there, but he wasn't taking on the father <laughs> up. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In Mr. Williams' court papers, he alludes to the fact that he thinks you have a sugar daddy. <laughs> what is this all about? He is one of my um, childhood friends. And when I called and told him that Brian was not taking care of his responsibilities, when I was short on a couple of things and I couldn't call and ask Brian for it, he made sure he was there for it. He has never once said that he was Connor's father. He's always trying to get Brian to step up to the plate and be a father. Mr. Williams, you say she's got a sugar daddy. What is this all about in your mind? It was, it was a phone call that I received and it just pretty much took me over the edge. I'm not sure how he even uh, obtained my number, but he was telling me to babysit. Well, why would I be babysitting my child? So he told me to be there babysitting. This man is telling you when to be there to take care of your child? Yes. Because Brian... Wait a minute, who is this person? It's her Papa Bear. That's her <laughs> nickname for him. Papa Bear? Yes. Well, how do you know that? I've retrieved evidence from um, her Facebook account. Jerome, will you hand me his evidence, please? <laughs> and you say she calls him Papa Bear. Yes, yes I do. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Well, all right. So, this is an exchange between Ms. Vaughn and Papa Bear. Ms. Vaughn says, I think he should get a DNA test. And then Papa Bear says, see? This next message you see says, Lil Connor will be calling me daddy by next month. Oh. Insinuating that he's not calling him daddy right now because that's not his father. So, you're reading these Facebook messages and you... You've got your wife calling a man Papa Bear. They're going back and forth on Facebook. And he's saying, by next month, the baby will be calling me daddy. And you're reading messages about somebody needing to get a DNA test. And you're feeling like this all is pointing to you and the fact that you may not be Connor's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, did you confront Ms. Vaughn and say, what are these messages and who is this person? I've tried to contact her. She started blocking my number when yes. I would ask about, you know, her relationship. When I was coming over to her house, that they're already there, not dressed in claiming that it's just a regular friendship. Wait, when you come over to Ms. Vaughn's house, what, to, to see Connor? Yes, ma'am, because Then Papa I... Bear and Ms. Vaughn are there and they don't have any clothes on? Yes, Your That's Honor. That's incorrect. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie. Miss Vaughn, I'm asking you this respectfully. Are, have you been intimate with Papa Bear? Is it an intimate relationship or just best friends? We are an intimate relationship. Oh, oh you are in an intimate relationship. But she's still married, though. And he's the father. Oh, we're still... You get it from your mama. <laughs> no, you get your... Behavior from your mother, okay, because but you we've never don't been know on anything. Street. Hold on, hold phone. on, hold Let's on. Let's get it correct, hold sir. Brian, Miss Vaughn, I want to be clear. <laughs> You're still married to Mr. Williams. We're separated, yes. You're separated Legally. from Mr. Williams, but you are intimate with this Papa Bear yeah. guy. Yeah. So you understand then, mm -hmm. if he reads these messages and knows that you're intimate with this man, can you see why he would have doubt? Yes. Ms. Boyd, what I want to understand is, because I see you, I mean, you've got so much negative things to say about Mr. Williams, this, this. You know, in hindsight, do you regret making your daughter marry him? Because you the one set this up. Okay. When she, when she brought this stuff at home, I said, why are you bringing him home? He's a project. She said, that's Brian, Brian, Brian. No, he's a project still to today. Hold on, Ms. Boyd. I want to understand this because you're so angry and yet what I'm saying is, is that you encourage them to get married. I wish that I wouldn't have dogged him like I did because it drew her closer to him. 
If I would have listened to everyone else and said, no, just let it ride, because she's going to smarten up and she's going to ditch the loser. But I kept on saying, Tori, he's a project. He's a project. So, so Ms. Vaughn, in, in addition to the paternity of, uh, issue, thing. you also say you have spent close to $2,550 in childcare expenses for this year that you say Mr. Williams has not helped you out mm -hmm. at all. You're suing for half of those expenses, which is $1,275 mm -hmm. for daycare. Mm -hmm. Do you have any evidence that you brought to court to validate those expenses? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, all right. So these are the child, the receipts for child care. Yes, for Connor Williams, you know, his daddy's last name. All right. So this is three months of child care, pretty mm -hmm. much. And I get no government assistance, so it's straight cash. That you're having to pay mm. to make sure your child is able to go to child care, presumably so you can go to work or school or whatever right. you have to do. Right. Mr. Williams, this is $2,550. You know a child has to have someone to care for it. She's saying she's been paying out this money so she can go to work, but you aren't working. Have you helped her with this $2,550? Or have you at least said, while you're working, I will watch him so we don't have to incur this expense? Yes, Your Honor. You have done. I've... Which one of them have you done? I was being the coming to her house. In the last three months, have you come to her house to watch the child? Yes, Your Honor. Has he been there? Out of those three months that he's been in child care, he watched him for two weeks. But, you know, mm -hmm. four weeks in every month, four times three. So, for yeah. two weeks, mm -hmm. he did watch him. Mm -hmm. But for the eight fifty that you've paid per month for the subsequent months, mm -hmm. he hasn't helped watch him. Mm -hmm. No. Your Honor. Now she's saying that she nobody helped her with child care, but I offered, and she has you yet to call me. She received she my money. She was paying that was child support money. Was, I, I was li I was giving she, her my money. She never. I was giving called. my mother my money while I was standing in Frankfurt. She, he did. And it and was you know forty dollars twice. Forty dollars twice. It was not that forty dollars twice. Yes, it, it was, was way more than forty dollars. How much it even was shocked it? My mother. One, How much one it? was even shocking my mother that I was giving her this much money. I was testifying to giving receiving her money, and then she was going to. And telling me, calling me back that I was, she was using it to go partying with. Okay, so I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break some things down to you, so you won't think I'm just one of these people spending his money on stuff. Connor is not on government assistance anything. I pay for child care, health care, lights, water, phone bill, car insurance, and anything else. So if he only sends me sixty dollars, what is that to anything? It's sixty dollars. Right. But it's subtracted from right. the amount that right. you. So whether so so his sixty dollars oh. is putting it to the pool of bills. Did you admit to him that the money he gave you, you spent partying? Yes. Okay. So you did. You spent the money he gave you partying. Because that... all right, let's go to the results, oh, Jerome. Okay. Whatever. Get the results. Let's go to the results. <laughs> Ms. Vaughn, I don't know why you're so cavalier. Whatever, get to the results. What is that? What is that about? Mm. Because Cause I... I'm, I mean, I'm just being honest. Right. I want... You're the one in paternity court. Right. I, I mean, it's almost as if you've taken on such a victim mentality that you're forgetting, as a young woman, the only reason you're here mm -hmm. is because you did it to yourself. Mm-hmm. Cause let me no no I mean right. I mean it's you're the right. truth. You right. Cause you right. You done got in here and you whatever what not this you breaking it down you mm -hmm. got so much mouth mm -hmm. a woman that's got that much mouth mm -hmm. got enough sense to know mm -hmm. when you go look at a young man like this if I lay down with him without no protection I'm gonna be on my own. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Mean, so, so, friend. look, because I try to get Mr. Williams to just get one thought together today it's been tough. Mm -hmm. So, I, 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 you know, you the one said it was your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So you got a lot to say today, but, um, <laughs> baby. I, I made my mistake. Baby, I make mistakes. Baby. I made them. Okay? <laughs> so sometimes you need to know when to just be humble mm -hmm. and be quiet. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what she said. You right. You right. So with that said, let me get you all these results so we can figure out how to get this baby the mother and father that he deserves. Uh, these he results were prepared them. by no, DNA doesn't. Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Vaughn versus Williams, as it pertains to 12-month-old Connor Williams, it has been determined by this court 
Mr. Williams, you are the father. <laughs> mm, pay the lighting. Pay the lighting. Mm. Pay the lighting. Mm. Mr. Williams, you are the father. Yes, Your Honor. Mm. You are the father. You're gonna have to raise that child together. You're gonna have to help be responsible for him, care for him. And your lack of bonding with him because of whatever your doubt was, that's time he's lost when he could have had the love of his father. Today is about how do we move forward? We got the truth. This baby is here. He's one. That's his father. You've got to take care of the child. You owe her. She came in here saying, for three months, I've spent $2,550. I've been paying for child care for this child so I can go out and get money that I need to take care of the child. You're responsible for half those child care expenses. So for that reason, my judgment is for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,275. You owe her that. Mr. Matthews, you say you've made many mistakes in your life, but the worst is not being a good dad to the defendant's daughter, Kiana. You claim that has caused her to deny you are her daughter's father. You are here to prove the truth. She biologically is yours. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Ms. Shaw, you admit your daughter believed that Mr. Matthews was her dad, but now stand in court to prove that another man is her biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Matthews, you say you've made mistakes. Tell me about that. When I was younger, I made a lot of mistakes in my life, so I can understand that Ms. Thompson would want to act the way she does. When I tried to reach out to her on Facebook, she was kind of angry at me because of my episodes in my life. So you're saying you were not a good father? Not at all. And so your belief is that this whole issue is surrounding your failure to be a good father. That's true. Is that true, uh, Ms. Shaw? No, Your Honor. I tried to make things right a long time ago. I tried to get a DNA test. Mm. And when we went before the magistrate, he looked at me and told him that he never slept with me. Yes, it was true, because you I was You told the magistrate you had never had a sexual relationship with Ms. Shaw? I would say that I was a womanizer and went in there and lied. Okay. Amen. So, when he told this lie, what happened? I looked at him. I turned around and I looked at his wife. Mm. And... Did somebody say wife? Yeah, they both were married. Oh, so you... Oh, and you yes. had a husband? Yes. Yes. Oh, so you came to court with your wife? Correct. No wonder you said you never had sex with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you had a husband. Yes. All right. So you two were basically cheating on your spouses with one another. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So you get to the magistrate. He says, I've never had sex with that woman. And how does the magistrate rule? The magistrate looked and asked me, did I want to go forth? And I told him no. That wasn't what happens. Oh, you were so angry at that I point was, that I he was, lied. I was done. I never approached him after that point. His wife already knew at that point about Kiana. And she didn't have a problem because Kiana was going to their house before this took place and everything. It was just a blatant lie. That ain't what happened. She was married, I was married. She was doing her own thing, I was doing my own thing. And the way I looked at it is we both was having fun. We both was young, you know, and when she told me she was pregnant, I was too busy trying to enjoy myself because I wasn't trying to be with no one woman, I already had a wife. So the point is, when you stood in the courtroom with your wife and you said you'd never slept with Miss Shaw and you knew you weren't telling the truth, was that because you were scared to lose your wife or is that yes. because you did not want to be bothered with a child? A little bit of both. But Miss Shaw, you said that Kiana had already been going over to their house. Yes. So how old was Kiana when you were at this magistrate hearing? She was eight. Yeah. Eight years old? Yes. You're nodding too, Kiana, so you remember? Yeah, I remember... So uh, you remember house. going over his house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least one time... Once I remember going over for Halloween. And your mother told you you're going over to your father's house? Yes. And mm -hmm. you knew he had a wife? And other kids. Mm -hmm. And other children. What do you remember? I remember it being really uncomfortable, honestly. I felt like I was the stepchild. Like, you know, his... Mm -hmm. The way that he was with his other kids, he wasn't like that with me, so I wanted to... Him to feel the way he felt about his other kids about me. I did, but I wasn't, wasn't really there either. You know, I was, if I wasn't at work, I was ripping and running. So, Ms. Shaw, I want to know, from that point, you decided, I'm not even going to be bothered with trying to prove that he is 
Right. My daughter's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. But did you know for certain that he was? Or no. did you say that because you knew you had a paternity doubt, but you just weren't gonna be bothered with him because he lied? Um, he was not the only man that I had slept with. Mm. Other Were you honest about husband. that to Miss Thompson, your daughter? Yes. Uh, she's known all her life. So why did you open the case against Mr. Matthews if you always knew that there was another possibility? Because when my daughter would go to his house, most of the time she'd be there with his wife and kids. That's why she was crazy about his wife. His kids, those are like her siblings. But for him to come in, I want you, then I don't want you. I wanted to get it out the way while she was still young, that if he's not the father, I don't have to put her through this abuse anymore. That is not what even happened. Because when she first told me that I was the dad, I didn't want to believe it because I was doing my own things. But every time I turned around, I was bringing you fish sandwiches when you was pregnant. Every time yes. you turn around, you just like, babe, I'm, I'm hungry. And at the time, you had a but, husband, and well, here he it is. Wait a minute, but, okay, but you had threw him out. Yeah. But then when I came over there, you, you, you had me rubbing but, your stomach and all that good stuff. I it, had you rubbing my and stomach. And yes, that. you did. Yes, you did. Stop that and here it is. <laughs> Tell bring me a fish sandwich over to the house. Yes. So, and I'm tell you like, something. That fish sandwich is magical when you pregnant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to crave those too. That was funny. You said that. I said, now nah, that testimony is true. Yes. <laughs> it was something. He worked the night shift, and but, every but night when also he would get she had off, me feed him he would come too. and feed me. All right then. And rub my stomach. So you yes. remember that. Did but wait, that. I want to understand this. Yeah. So you're pregnant, but your husband's somewhere else. Right. right. Because see, that's how that came Your about. lover's coming over to feed you some fish sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Because my husband was still in and out at the same time when I got pregnant. Mm-hmm. But that six months, I had threw him out of the house. So he had him another girl. I went and got me four other guys. Oh! And oh. was doing my thing. And that's what I did. It was a choice, but I was young and dumb. Didn't have a full understanding of the damage it could cause till many years later. So you got pregnant and you, in that moment, mm. this, this tit for tat thing you were doing with your husband, husband yes. it got real. Kiana, at what point did you hear that there could be another possibility besides Mr. Matthews? Mm-hmm. I always knew that her husband at the time could have been my father. Mr. Brooks um, could have been my father and, you know, Mr. Matthews. So I always knew that it could have so been... So you grew up knowing that there were at least three possibilities of who could be your father? Yes. Did you, in your mind, say, I would prefer this one or that one? I know this one better. Yes. Did they all treat you? Oh, you did have a preference. Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews was the man you wanted to be your father. Yes, Your Honor. Why him? It was just the way that I saw him with his other kids. Oh. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you saw Mr. Matthews? Um, I was a junior in high school. So it's been about Mm. 14 years. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So, Mr. Matthews, your testimony is true. You've been a pretty bad dad. Yeah, I was a terrible father. Mm. And that's why you're here, to right your wrongs. That's correct. I enjoyed my life, you know? Mm -hmm. Amen. You're right. I mean, let's be honest. Yes. It's in the context of what your enjoyment was. Right. Kiana wasn't having that much fun. Right. That's true. She was at your house watching you love on your other babies and wishing as a child that she could experience that same kind of love but was feeling out of place. Yes. So I want to understand this. You have Kiana at your home. Your wife knows about Kiana. Yes. Did you accept in your mind that this is my daughter without question? My grandmother, you know, went over there and seen the baby because where Ms. Shaw was living at the time, you know, rumors fly around. First, my grandmother told my mother, then my mother told me, and I was like, nah, you know, I'm not gonna sit back there and say yes. What did they say? She said, well, the baby look like you. I said, no, I said, no, it don't. I'm not gonna sit back because I didn't want my wife to know. Well, my mother told my wife. Oh! And when you're in them kind of circumstances, you don't wanna sit back and admit that, you know, this baby may be yours. But when I seen her, when I actually seen her face, I fell in love with her. Mm. But I wasn't sure that she was mine. But I had to follow what they said because they were the older ones. And my mom and my grandmother, they let me know, either you do what's right or we gonna do something to you. So what did you think happened to your father, Miss Thompson? Honestly, I just felt like he didn't want to be in touch with me. Did it ever lead you to seek out the other? No. Well, you knew your mother's husband. No, I didn't know him. You didn't either. really know him either? No. We tried to make it work for the, for the kids' sake, because we had two sons together. And 
after she was born when he looked at her mm. and he said, she's not mine. Because of that, I could take a lot and deal with a lot, but for her, I was all she had. So who was at the hospital when she was born? He came up there. Yeah, I did. He came you up did. there. Jody, yeah. Jody came up there. Wait, who's my Jody? husband? Well, oh, oh, Mr. Brooks. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Brooks came. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mr. Matthews came. And my deceased husband, he came. Oh, it was a. It was basically a circus <laughs> at that time. It was not a. <laughs> I mean, we all, all, were all of you all up there together? No. No. I, they all knew exactly, I'm, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to this one, I'm doing this. I never lied to anyone about anything. Yeah, you did. what I lie about? what I lie about? Well, I'm going to interject with that. Woo! Speak some truth. I didn't know that you two were still together. We wasn't. We were still married. So if any time he come over, yes, he can come and stay. Every time I came over there, you made me feel like I was comfortable with your house. You was comfortable. Yeah, you because rubbing me down you, and, if, if I, I mean, you, you cooking come, dinner. It, 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 I yes, mean, I'm cooking dinner. I I'm, mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting up there welcoming you because that's my house. How can a woman sit back there and say that you was married, but you would sit back to act like you was Lord, married no, to me? Lord, no, he didn't. Oh, well, yes, I did. Was I the only one married? Oh. <laughs> well, seems like you all have unfinished business on many levels. A lot of the times, I feel like he only wanted to be around me to be around her. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Because there's a lot of times where she's like, oh, I talked to Mr. Matthews today, and she would talk to him, and I hadn't talked to him for 10 years. Oh. So how can you talk to her, but you're not talking to me? I tried. He only tried within the last two years, and the only reason why I even responded to him was because my husband, but... He encouraged you. Right, but the reason why I didn't is because you're here one year, then you're gone five years or longer, you know? So I'm really a guarded person, and I guard my heart. She's so... stubborn, because I'm stubborn. I'm a funny-acting person. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first one to admit it. I mean, and, and it, don't leave you out either, because you funny-acting, too. I mean... Like, she, we can't You over two there. are something else. I, I mean, with the flirting, you two are oh, doing... Oh, no, 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 What you mean, no, no, you no, wait... no, no, no? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after the way that, it, that things went, went with I camp, see why you wore your little suit, too, now, Mr. Matthews. <laughs> see? Mm -hmm. I, thought, I said, he's real ready for court, ain't he? Yeah. Uh-huh. Go ahead. What are you about to no, say, Miss Shaw? <laughs> oh, God. It, the, the one that's been consistent was Mr. Brooks. Mm -hmm. He's the father of my youngest son. And a lot of her, like, the way she, fa she favors his mom and whatever she needed, he was always there. Did she ever tell you that she believed Mr. Brooks was really your biological yeah, father? she did, as she I got did. older. He also writes me on Facebook and he'll talk to me and stuff, but I just don't, I guess, don't see it. What's interesting is Mr. Matthews is here to prove that he is your biological father. Your mother is here to prove that Mr. Brooks is your biological father. Who do you believe is your biological father? A part of me wants to believe that Mr. Matthews is my biological father. What part of you is that? I guess the little girl part of me that never... that always wanted to have a dad, and I'll never know what it's like to go to a father-daughter dance like my mm -hmm. husband takes my daughter to, and being able to have that bond, I, I'll never know that. I mean, that really had to be confusing. And you said as a child, everyone had their dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even, like, my brothers, because she has four kids, so... All my brothers had their dads, and I was just the only child who didn't have a dad. I want you to take this opportunity to tell Mr. Matthews what it felt like. I mean, he's testified over and over again how much fun he was having. I'm a guarded person because of it. It definitely affect, affects me then, and it still does now. Hmm. And I just... I've been wanting this for a long time. When I heard you say that I would be at his house and I would watch him love the other children, and he didn't love me the same. That broke my heart. But that you were still excited to be there because you felt that there was a chance that he would love you the same. No child should have to sit through that. And it's okay to tell people, while you were out having fun, I was living in fear. Because mm. to live with your guard up your whole life, that's difficult too. It's a bad way. Jerome, yeah. let's get the results for this family. Thank you. You're welcome. In the case of Matthews versus Thompson Shaw, when it comes to 29-year-old 
Kiana Thompson. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Brooks is not her father. What are you feeling in this moment, Ms. Shaw? That what she need to be the father. He not gonna be there. And I know Mr. Brooks would. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Matthews versus Thompson Shaw, when it comes to 29-year-old Kiana Thompson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Matthews, you are not the father. Hmm. I'm wow. so sorry, Kiana. Wow. Neither well, she, gentleman is her biological father. She'll always be mine no matter what. I love her. Was that something you had prepared yourself at all for, honey? Mm. No. I'm sorry. Miss Shaw, I, I want to understand this. So there were potentially five men who could be her biological yes. father. Yes, it was four, my husband and four other. Mm -hmm. mm. Do we know where the other two men are? One is deceased, and then there's one, and he's in Philadelphia. You know how to reach him? Yes, I do. All right. Thank goodness for scientific developments, yes. the things we have the ability to do as a court to help people solve these particular types of paternity issues. And this courtroom is here for you so mm. that we can get her the answer she needs concerning mm. who her father really is. Mm.